Oh my goodness. We made it. Sorry, I have no clue what was going on with that. Steve, fix this. This is not your, this is the wrong thing. It is my fault. I sent, I sent, I sent the wrong email. Long email address. He added an E to your lat your first name. He had Grace with two E's. Oh, I got it. no worries. What? That's Sideways. I know, Steve. Mm -hmm. All right, are you ready there, Grace? I'm ready. So it's Grace Needham, right? Yeah. I said it right. Yep, all good. All right. Are you ready, Steve? Mm -hmm. Here we are live with another episode of Talking Sports with the Legend. Tonight's guest is Grace Needham. Where were you born? I was born in Baltimore, Maryland. Yeah. What age did you move to Philadelphia? I think I was five. Yeah, five ish. I moved in kindergarten. You moved here when she was five, you left off. What age did you start playing sports? Um, I think I was around three. You know, I played in those little, like those little kid soccer's. Um, you know, just like with the little kids, little nets, all those things. Did you always want? Did you always want to go to uh, the high school that you are at now? Um. Yeah. I just it was it's close to my house. It's a pretty good education. I didn't really want to go anywhere else. Oh, where do you go? Council Rock? I go to Council Rock North. Yeah. What teams have you played for? Um, so I played for my high school team. Mm -hmm. So Council Rock North. And then I played for like Crusa, that club. Played for Patriots for a little bit. And now I'm at YMS, which is in Yardley. Are you guys um going to have an indoor season? Um, we had a shortened season. Um, so instead of playing our normal twenty games, we only played ten. Um, yeah, and then we got shut down for COVID for two weeks, so that wasn't really fun. That shortened us even more, but mm -hmm. um, it was still a good season. It's pretty fun. Good end of the season because it's my senior year, so at least we got something. Do you want to, you want to keep on playing after high school? I do, actually. Um, I'm talking to a few college coaches, trying to figure out where to go. Um, I'm just currently applying to colleges, so I just need to see where I get in first and then go from there. What grade are you? I'm in 12th grade. I'm a senior in high school. Who is your favorite athlete? Ooh, my favorite athlete. Um, I think I'd say probably Alex Morgan right now. Um, just because obviously she came back from having a baby. So I think that's pretty cool that she's, you know, back to her top level soccer playing self. I think that's super inspiring. So yeah, it's probably say Alex Morgan. Did you always play the same number? Do you always play the same position and wear the same number? Um, so position wise, I've I play goalie. Um, so I've probably been a goalie since I was, I don't know, maybe 10. But it wasn't always a goalie. I used to play field sometimes, just if there was like other goalies, but right now I'm the only goalie on my team. So um I'm strictly goalie and I've stayed with that for a while, but no, not always. Um when I wasn't in goal, I usually play like in the midfield or offense. Mm -hmm. Um, and the same number, no. So when I was little, my number was 13 and then it switched to 20 and now it's zero. 
which is like your typical goalie number, pretty much like zero or one. Where is your dream college? Uh, my dream college? Hmm. I think right now it would be Marymount University in Arlington, Virginia. Um, that one's that one I'm super excited about. How did your team do last this past season? Um, so my high school team, we were five and five. We made it to the second round of states where we lost. So we had a pretty okay season, I guess you could say. Who'd you guys lose to? Uh, I think it was Downingtown East or Downingtown West. It was one of the Downingtowns. I, I'm like 90% sure it was East though. <laughs> what uh, makes you want to go to Marymount? Is there, are you, are you interested in a certain major? Um, yeah. So I'm either thinking of being a teacher, um, or a nurse, but I would, I'm also thinking of playing soccer there. Um, and I also really love DC. But, you know, D.C. is so expensive. So um, Marymount is right outside of it. It's about 10 minutes away, like just right across the Potomac. So I think it's like a pretty good balance of like being close to D.C. without having to pay like the D.C. price tag. Great point. Wish, wish all, all the parents out there wish their kids thought like you. But you could, yeah. go, <laughs> could go to school in Pennsylvania. It'd be even cheaper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. No, so <laughs> I have like four siblings. So like. All of us are going to be in college pretty soon within like the next three years actually all four of us will be there so price is definitely something we're trying to keep down has the coach <laughs> talked to you about scholarships yeah i will actually be finding out this week um so i've been talking to her i was offered a spot on the team that's awesome I'm waiting to hear if i get in hold on that's someone's on awesome. the door and yeah so i just wait to hear if i get in this week that's really that's really cool congratulations yeah. on that yeah. Thank good, you. And good luck. Thanks. So, what division are they? they? What division are Mary men in? Uh, they're D3. Um, I forget what league they play in, but um, they actually play a lot of schools close to here in Philly. They'll play like Newman and Immaculata and I think Gwinnett as well. So it plays pretty locally. You already asked her that one. She talked what about is what is your favorite song? My favorite song? Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. Um, hmm. I'm going to go Christmas music right now. I think I'm into Christmas music. So probably, I don't know, literally any Christmas song at the moment. <laughs> That's one of Stephen's favorite songs for the high school kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I love Christmas. Favorite holiday. What is the best, biggest, biggest game that you ever played in? The biggest game? Uh, probably last or well, either this year or last year when we like made it to states for my high school or districts. Mm -hmm. Like either of those two games, like the second round was the farthest we went both years. So I'd probably say that game. What is the best team you ever played for? Uh, probably my club team, uh, YMS. Um, we were like in the like a premier level team, so we traveled a bunch, played in like a couple like national, well, a road to nationals game. We did pretty well in that, and then a couple state tournaments. We like won the state championship one year. We we're runners up, like did the following year. So, are you, are you the starting goalie for that team? Uh, yes. How tall are you? I'm five six. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You can still grow a little bit, but you can get up there, right? Can you touch the bar? Yeah, I can. Um, right. But no, it's definitely my my height is definitely something to my disadvantage that I work pretty hard to not um, make it one. Have you ever gone to a goalie camp? Um. Yeah. Yeah, they teach you how to come out in the angles and cut the angles down, right? Yep. Shorten, shorten the goal by going yep. outside, and you know. You start to learn a lot more as you get into the higher levels, and the playing on that premier team helps you a lot. That's yeah, really definitely. Cool. I learned a lot. Yeah, that's good. Did you ever make 
Did you ever make an all-star team? An all-star team? No, I never really, like, went out for any of those. I don't know. I was pretty happy on my club-level team, so no. How about, like, the all-conference at Council Rock and stuff like that? Oh, I was – oh, those – Um, I was honorable mention once, but other than that, that was it. Well, that's good. Honorable mention, don't <laughs> – it's not that <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good to be proud of. There's not too many goalies. They can only go first team, second team, and then honorable mention, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. Thanks. Congratulations. Did you ever meet a professional athlete in person? Um, so I've been to like a lot of the US women's soccer team. So I've met them. Like they've signed my jerseys and stuff, but so I think I have a signature from her name's like Lori Chalupney she like retired a few years ago but she signed something and then I met Carly Lloyd and Julie Ertz I think I have a signature from too and I think that might be it tell her about you Steve yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you when we were hanging out that day I met Carly Lloyd told you no. right he, he did you ask me yes mm -hmm. And then he interviewed her on Zoom like you're doing. Yeah. But, he, but he did it on Instagram in yeah. the beginning. That was before he's a professional Zoomer. Oh, yeah. You've moved on. Oh, you got to look. You got to go to his YouTube page and check out. He's got the video when he first met her. He almost killed her. Huh. <laughs> Steve, you're so popular. Mm -hmm. And he, he, was a, he was in a Zoom meeting last night with uh, Zach and Julie Ertz. Yeah. For their foundation. Oh, that's so cool. Yes, they invited him oh, I to. Love them. Yeah, they invited him to uh, listen in and mm -hmm. participate. If he, you know, he he had told him thank you for inviting me. It was really cool. Mm -hmm. It was all about their foundation. They had a uh, thing for um, um, high school seniors like yourself that they invited. It was all for, uh, unfortunately for you, it was yeah, inner, it was a, inner city. It was all inner yeah, city I, I, I think public, it was school. Like public school. Yeah, yeah, it was inner city public school, where she mm -hmm. goes to a suburban public school. So it was, oh, for, wow. it was for the inner city kids because um, a lot of the um, all-star games that were canceled for the seniors that they play in the city of Philadelphia for basketball and football. They, they have a big football game every year where it's all seniors play in the uh in the in the game and then these scouts come from all the colleges so they had to cancel because of COVID. so then they uh off uh, zach and julie Ertz's foundation offered a, a place for these kids to all go and they had like a one day you know exposure to all these coach college coaches and all so, that's really cool yeah they, they do a lot for the philadelphia um mm -hmm. you know rough areas where me and where me and Steven grew up, right, Steve? Mm -hmm. down, in, down in Kensington. That's wow. where that's where that's the people that are they're helping out down in the Kensington mm -hmm. area. Uh what is your do you do you have a role model? Probably my parents. They work really hard to provide for me and my siblings and I think they're good role models on like work ethic and just like being kind and selflessness. So that's a great, great mm -hmm. answer. Um, you said your mom and dad had four kids. Are you the oldest? I am. So I have a twin sister. So we're the oldest, but I'm the oldest of the two of us. <laughs> and then, um, so we're seniors in high school. And then I have a little sister who's a sophomore in high school. And then my little brother's a freshman in high school. So, you know what I always tell the, the person that's the, the oldest, I always tease them and say, your sister kicked your butt out of the of of your mom's belly first. <laughs> she, I mean, you kicked her out. You said you go out and see what's out there, and she didn't want to go. So you forced her. So then you knew the coast was clear, and you jumped out. That's not, that's not nice. You did to your sister. <laughs> and the last question. Uh, no, no, you didn't ask her um, did. about next season. She said you want you want to ask. She said she hopes to go to Marymount, but do you want to start for them or do you want to just go and oh, yeah, get an opportunity yeah. to play? Like as you said, you want to look. You look at that division. You know that's cool because the division three. You said that they offered. They may offer you something, but mm -hmm. what like Stephen was asking your dream college. Like say 
you know, what college, if they called you up and said, hey, we want to offer you a scholarship, anybody like that you would have in mind around here in the area? Or do you want to get away from your parents and your twin sister and your other other siblings? Um, no, I definitely you can be honest. Like this is going, this, you got to be honest. This is going on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> it's on Facebook. <laughs> No, I definitely want to move like a little far away. Definitely not like across the country, but like a few hours would be nice. But <laughs> other than that, I guess I don't really have a preference on where I go. Yeah, because that, that's the one question like Stephen mm -hmm. wants to know all the time about the schools. And that's why I told him it's a lot about do you want to leave the area and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, from there, if you have an idea, you want to go away. That's a great school. I heard a lot of good things about Marymount. Yeah, no, definitely want to branch out. Sorry, Steve. Didn't mean to cut you off. No, that's okay. Well, that's what we were talking. He was saying what? I think Bobby Wilkinson's the head coach for the men's team. No, no, no. He's the head coach of the men's team in um, Moravian. That's, oh, in, oh. That's, in, that's in Pennsylvania. Oh. The school she's talking about is in Virginia, but it's right at the top of Virginia, right near Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see one of the monuments. Whatever that really tall monument is, is that the Washington or the Lincoln? Yes, yes, yes. You can see it from their game field. It's so cool. <laughs> And their game field is actually right next to the Pentagon. You can, you like get off the pen, the exit and the Pentagon's on the left and the field's on the right. It's so cool. Uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, we, we wish you all the luck in the mm -hmm. world, and especially this. It looks, sounds good for next season's rounds. Like everybody's going to hopefully get some vaccines and everybody be back to normal. Yeah, hopefully. I would like a normal freshman year since I didn't get a normal you senior know, year. Exactly. And that's why I said I felt bad for the girls and guys that were seniors last year mm -hmm. and then their freshmen this year because they didn't get a chance to have a regular senior year and they didn't have a regular mm -hmm. freshman year. And that's. Yeah, 100%. It stinks so, all so around. Terrible. It really does. So your sister, twin sister, Steve, you skipped right over this. Does she play on the team with you? Um, My sister has runs cross country. She doesn't play soccer. She used to, but when we got to high school, cross country and soccer in the same season. So she had to choose. And I guess she liked running more. So she chose that. Is she running away from you? <laughs> <laughs> she definitely can outrun me. That is for sure. <laughs> Does she I have to go bike to, to keep up. Does she want to go to a college? Yeah, she, um, I don't know. She didn't tell me where she was applying to. So I honestly <laughs> couldn't tell you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. My daughter has twins, uh, friends that are twins, and they went to college together. Oh, my goodness. I yes, could never. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Finally met, I finally met one of the twins that are honest with us, Steve. We don't, we don't get a chance to talk to many twins. That's great. That's great. And last question. Last question. If you could have dinner with three soccer players, who would, they could be dead or alive, who would they be and why? Uh, oh, goodness. This is a tough question. You really hit me with the bad one at the end, Steve. Yeah, he gives you the hard one at the end. No, really, really working up to that one. Okay, so... We're going to go women's national team to make it easier on myself. So I would definitely want to eat with Ashlyn Harris because I think she's a phenomenal goalie and I think it would be so cool to talk to her because she seems like a really like humble person. And Rose Lavelle, I absolutely love her. And then Malkiel. And I think those are my three. Yeah. It's so funny, Steve. Tell her who was one of your favorite players in the um before Carly Lloyd was became one of your buddies. Hope Solo. Hope Solo was Hope Solo? favorite. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about her. Yeah, Steven always liked the goalies. He played goal sometimes when he mm -hmm. played for Special Olympics. So he I goalie. bet you were amazing at that. Oh yeah. He, he, I didn't like it. He sometimes. Didn't like, he didn't like it sometimes. <laughs> when the kids sometimes. got a little older kids got a little older and they could uh, really shoot. No, no, because the games were boring. Oh, the games were boring. Yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Your team was too good for them. He likes action. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> well, we really appreciate you taking the time out of your day. Mm -hmm. And uh, good luck your senior year graduating and everything. And good luck with Marymount. Keep Steven up to date. Yeah, keep so he touch. Can, I will. Tell, he can tell all I'll his fans. And then maybe, <laughs> next, maybe next year we'll interview again as a as a college student. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that would cool. be a good yeah, update. That, that'd mm -hmm. be great. There we go. Keep giving everybody up to date. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice to meet you. Good luck. You as well. Thank you for setting this up. It was so nice.
My pleasure. Our pleasure. Right, Steve? Steve <laughs> thank you. All righty. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Uh -huh. Hey, Steve, mm -hmm. I can be.